Expo in San Jose, and I'm here with Myron, the Hitman Smith. So, so what brought you to the Fit Expo today? I just came to check out my boy Kali Muscle and see what else was going on around here, a few jiu-jitsu tournaments and stuff like that. What has been your favorite booth so far? Um, I haven't found my favorite booth yet, but I found, yet? My, I found my favorite person, though. Oh. Really? This is my favorite person right here. This is stacks, y'all. So let's digress. <laughs> so you fought at uh, Conquer yeah. just a few few weeks ago, yeah. and you had the fight of the night. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, it was a tough fight. Um, I actually got sick. Nobody knew this, but I had the flu literally three weeks before that no. fight. I literally had the flu three weeks before that fight. So I was like dead in the water for about a week. I had to force myself to work, but you know, it is what it is. I pulled it out. So when you're preparing for like a big fight, like you just had at Conquer, yeah. how do you how do you train yourself? What do you do to prepare yourself for such a big fight? Man, I just I got the best team in the world, literally, and I got the best. I mean, a man, that's we got the best training, the best coaches, the best training partners, the best everything. So all I had to do is just put my faith in them, and, and you know, just just do what I do. And what gym do you fight out of? El Nino, El Nino Trainers, El Nino Training Center, San Francisco. <laughs> you guys heard it here. <laughs> yeah. So when when is your next fight? Uh, I got a date for one right now. But I don't want to put it out there yet because it's not you know it's not signed yet. So right. but I got a date for one, but it's real soon. Okay. So depending on the person you fight, do you train differently to that specific individual? Yeah, definitely. Or would it be the same? Uh, I train for the individual. This particular right. fight, um, I cut a lot of muscle, so I uh, actually got down to about 215 for my entire training camp. Um, I didn't lift any weights this training camp because I knew he was going to be taller and leaner. So, you know, I didn't want to gas out this fight. So, right, so I had to cut some of that muscle. So you really do change everything depending on the person you're going to fight. everything. Diet, training, everything. So I also did a lot of cardio this fight. I have never ran. I ran about maybe 12 to about 16 miles a week for this fight. I had never did that before. So I didn't want my cardio to be an issue. But I wound up getting sick anyway, but I still pulled it out. What would be the hardest thing about training? The hardest thing is being consistent with training. That's it, every day. Just just going in there, getting beat up, you know, doing a little bit of beating up, but just doing that every day. That's the hardest thing about it. So do you train like three weeks before a fight or a month before a fight, or as soon as you know, you find out you're gonna fight, is that when once you start your training? Well, you really wanna try to stay in shape, period. Right. But usually for me, eight to 10 weeks is when I start going hard. But you know, usually you wanna keep on training every day, doing a little bit of something every day, at least an hour a day every day. Right. Okay, so I have to ask, what did you think of the Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor fight? Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor fight. My boy did he. My boy did his thing. He did. My Rep boy did his thing. Represent day. Stockton. Hey, yeah. hello. Hello, yeah. Nate Diaz. Yeah, and he won me some money on that fight, too. Right? Oh, yeah. that's always good, of course. That 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 I appreciate that, Nate. I owe you a dinner, man. Okay, so I have to know. You're obviously you your your career is MMA and that's what you enjoy doing. Is there a certain person, an MMA fighter that stands out to you where you kind of aspire to do what he does? Not necessarily. Um, there is one fighter I like Rumble. Um, I kind of like the way uh, his whole style and everything. Yeah. He just go in there, just no nonsense, and just handle his business. Right. So Anthony Rumble is probably the dude I, I would kind of like, you know, look forward to, you know, possibly. Maybe fighting one day, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so let's talk. Optimistically, what would be your the, your ideal fight that you would love to have? It can be anybody, MMA, uh, UFC, Bellator, whatever it is. Who would you love to fight? And after that fight, who, uh, you, who would really put you on the map as a serious MMA athlete? I would have to go with Rumble. Yeah? I have to go with Rumble. Rumble's the man right now to me. Right. Rumble's the man. He's hard to beat. So uh, I would say... Um, if I had a Vegas fight, matter of fact, me and Rumble can fight in the backyard. See? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? We He's can fight a real in the backyard. athlete. That's we, a we real athlete. But uh, other than him, maybe like a Kimbo Slice or something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.